Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got to share this one from Edward Umling. And since they're so short, I'm just going to go ahead and play it. So listen up. This one is very good. It's very heavy. Not so good for those who aren't ready. Okay, take a listen. At Patmos, the Lord said to the believers, Repent. To Ephesus, he said, Repent, or he would remove their light. To Pergamos, he said, Repent, or he would fight against them. To Thyatira, he said, Repent, or they would be cast into great tribulation. To Sardis, he said, Repent, or he comes as a thief in the night to judge. Thus, repentance was spoken to the believer who thought in his heart he was okay with God. Yep. So the question is, is God okay with you? The word from the Lord is repentance, and he is speaking to the believer to the churches, to the Christian, to the one who thinks in his heart, I am okay with God. But thus says the Lord, I'm about to move and sweep with a vengeance. Hear the sound of thunder? My holy ones are with me. Now I try this people. Here it is. It comes upon you. Calamity upon calamity. None shall escape. It is a refining fire purging and cleansing. I overturned tables then. Now I overturn rulers, peoples, nations, and tribes. December. Sorrow replaces gladness. Confusion replaces order. Division replaces peace. Reason replaces faith. Drink from the cup. Dregs are next. Wow. There's no doubt that man hears from the Lord. You can tell when he shifted from talking about the churches to when the Lord started speaking through him. And it just got real heavy. And I, I think most of us, if not all, are the holy ones that are with him. I pray you are. I pray you all will be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come upon the earth and to stand before the Son of Man. This is why we know we, we won't see the Antichrist be put into power because that comes immediately after. People keep thinking the war is going to be the chaos where they make order out of chaos. Or maybe it's the famine. Or maybe it's together. But it's the leaving of the first fruits and all the babies and a whole lot of senior citizens. You see, they were brought up right. Churches didn't start changing their and candy coating their messages until later. And they noticed it. A lot of them can't even talk right now because of strokes or dementia. But the Lord knows who they are. And I have no doubt that half the, the nursing homes will empty out. And then there'll be the, the ones who are a mentally challenged that cannot they're like children do you know a mentally challenged adult who talks like a, a five-year-old or maybe a second grader they're so innocent and if they were taught about Jesus they love him and they're going to so that's quite a few the Bride of Christ, the 144,000. Anyone else found worthy who has devoted their life to Christ 
despite what it's cost them. Many of us have lost our family, our friends. They don't want to be around us. People don't care to socialize with us. And it's, we've paid price, but it's not a, not a very big price when you think about what we're getting. We get to be the harvest army. And I'll never stop telling you that because I want you to keep that at the forefront of your brain, your thoughts. When you feel down or lonely or you're hurting, I want you to remember we're at the end. They're about to go to war with Iran. Iran and Israel, but we're Israel's ally. I think we're their only ally. They may have one or two others, but the point is, war is right around the corner. So, be ready, brothers and sisters. Please be ready. I want to meet each and every one of you that ever commented. I want to see you. I want to hug you. Shake your hand. Whatever. Socialize with you and not six feet away and no masks. How wonderful to be with our Lord in heaven and get our instructions and our, our, our armor and come back and we get to go to those we've been praying for and tell them, look, I'm changed. Can you tell? Maybe a 30 year old you won't be able to tell, but I bet you will. They, Jesus was only 33. And people didn't recognize him. Why was that? He was changed into his perfect. If his nose was too big, it was not too big now after he rose from the dead. If his ears were too big, they weren't after that. You see what I mean? So, we'll be perfected. Our brains, of course, our thought life, our love life for one another, it'll be perfected, but so will our looks. It's just going to be awesome. I just wanted to reiterate that so you'll stay encouraged, okay? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over... Each and every one of us and over our devices and our internet connection. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.